every campaign needs to do what they believe is his best. And uh, we did not ask for uh, Mr. McKay's campaign to put out any type of statement related to Dr. Lewis. Uh, it's up to them to decide what they would like to do. So I'll let them speak to that. But I just will say uh, there was no disrespect would have been felt at all if he'd participated tonight. There have been other events that we've participated in that he's not participated in. There's been all right, Drea Humphrey here with Rebel News, and I'm here with Steve Outhouse, Leslin Lewis's campaign manager. Dr. Lewis couldn't be here, Steve. Maybe you can touch on that for us. Yeah, sure. So Dr. Lewis has been battling an ear infection for about the past week, and we've had to clear her calendar. Well, my hope was is that with the antibiotics and everything that she would be ready to go this evening, but unfortunately, we, we couldn't make that happen. All right. And interestingly enough, Peter McKay is not here as well tonight, and he actually made a statement kind of that it it was in relation to Dr. Leslin Lewis. Were you guys chatting about that? No. Um Every campaign needs to do what they believe is his best. And uh, we did not ask for uh, Mr. McKay's campaign to put out any type of statement related to Dr. Lewis. Uh, it's up to them to decide what they would like to do. So I'll let them speak to that. But I just will say uh, there was no disrespect would have been felt at all if he'd participated tonight. There have been other events that we've participated in that he's not participated in. There's been events that he's participated in that we've not been there. Uh, not many, I don't believe, but uh, it would have been up to him to decide what he wanted to do with this guy and we would have totally respected that. Yeah, that's right. I'm from the Vancouver area, and that was one of the examples where Peter McKay didn't come, but Dr. Lewis did mm -hmm. show up for that. So uh, another thing I want to ask, we're at the Independent Press Gallery, and that would have been a very important debate for Dr. Lewis. Why would it been have been important for her? Yeah, so Dr. Lewis is a big proponent of free speech. Is one of the things that drew me to her campaign. Uh, she chose to speak with Rebel Media as her first interview when she launched her campaign to kind of send a message message that she wanted to speak to other outlets that were outside of the bubble, as it were, outside kind of the more you know traditional media outlets. Uh, she's put forward policies about uh, withholding funds from universities that don't respect freedom of speech. And so I think what we're seeing here with the Independent Press Gallery is sort of the emergence of a new, it's a new way of doing media across the country. And I think that's going to benefit Canadians uh, overall. And so we were very excited. A lot of the work that, that uh, Candace Malcolm and Andrew Lawton and others have done to make this happen happened tonight. Uh, we were very much looking forward to Dr. Lewis being here and it was very disappointing that she couldn't be. Right. And what were you guys anticipating to see tonight at this debate that's now shifted into something else? Yeah, well, it would have been a good opportunity. I mean, it any time that candidates get to kind of kick around their ideas and different approaches. I mean, there's certainly, since we're all conservatives, there's certain things they have in common and it's, it's not going to be too different in some ways, but each candidate brings their own unique things to the table. And that would have been a good opportunity for members who are still making up their minds. Obviously the ballots are out there now, would have been a good chance for them to, to hear what each candidate has to say. And we were looking forward to debating that tonight. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I'm here today at the inaugural Independent Press Gallery bringing you the coverage on the debate. This is in Toronto, but if I lived in Alberta, I wouldn't be part of this because right now the rebels have been banned from doing so. So if you want to see the documents and learn more about this, you can head to letusreport.ca and be a part of helping us be a voice.